In this quick example problem, we're going to look at the idea of impulse and momentum to find the average force that a person must exert on a machine gun if the machine gun is firing bullets at a certain rate. So we have a machine gun, it's firing bullets that are 20 grams, 0 0.02 kilograms, and each bullet is leaving the muzzle at 600 meters per second. And the gun is firing 200 bullets per minute. Average force is the change in momentum divided by the time interval, delta P over delta T. And so to look at this problem, we're going to look at the total change in momentum of a certain number of bullets and the time that it takes for that momentum to change. The change in momentum for a single bullet would be the mass times the final velocity of the bullet minus the mass times the initial velocity of the bullet. The initial velocity of the bullet is zero meters per second. The final velocity of the bullet is 600 meters per second. So the change in momentum of a single bullet is 12 kilogram meters per second. In 60 seconds, in one minute, there's 200 bullets that are fired. So in 60 seconds, the total change in momentum is 200 bullets times 12 kilogram meters per second per bullet, which is a total change in momentum of 2,400 kilogram meters per second. And so the average force is the change in momentum divided by the time. The total change in momentum over that 60 seconds is 2,400 kilogram meters per second. The time interval was 60 seconds. So the average force that the shooter was exerting on the gun was 40 newtons. Again, that does not mean that he was exerting a constant force of 40 newtons. The force spikes up when the gun is firing. The force is zero for the situations where the gun is not firing. And so averaging it out, the average force is 40 newtons. These types of problems are pretty common impulse momentum problems. You may have a person that's throwing masses off the back of a frictionless cart, and you might look at what the average force acting on the cart is by looking at what the change in momentum of each object is that he's throwing off. Again, this idea of impulse and relating change in momentum to the force and the time, that impulse momentum theorem, is a very key concept.